Hello, everyone. Thank you for being with me on this Friday. And we've got a case here that you're just not going to believe. And the reason you're not going to believe it, if this guy had five good brain cells, he would have left well enough alone. So let me introduce you to Brandon Diaz. Brandon Diaz is a registered nurse. He's 38 years of age. Now, he used to be a paramedic and a firefighter, and he went and got his registered nurse degree certificate. And he was employed by Lakeland Regional Health back in 2017. Lakeland Regional Health does a really good job and they give random drug screens and he tested positive. And when he tested positive, they terminated him. Well, not only had he worked at Lakeland Regional Health, but in 2019, while employed at Lakeland Regional Health, he was allowed to be the clinical coordinator for Polk State College Center for Public Safety for the EMS program. The only reason he could be the EMS coordinator, I'm, I'm sorry, the clinical coordinator for Polk State College was because he was a nurse and was working at Lakeland Regional. So when Lakeland Regional found that, hey, this guy's using drugs, he tested positive, they fired him. Polk State College terminated his employment there as well. This made him exceptionally angry. He was not a happy guy. So understanding that he failed the drug test in 2021, Lakeland Regional Health terminated him, Polk State College terminated him. Well, what does he do? He decides that two of the instructors over at the Center for Public Safety were responsible for him losing his job. You know, he didn't have enough brain cells to connect the dots. I tested positive on drugs. Lakeland Regional Health terminated me. Polk State College says, hey, you tested positive for drugs. LRH terminated you. So we terminate you because you can't do this job without being employed with LRH. So what does old Einstein here do? He decides to hack computers. And he hacked into computers at Polk State College. And specifically, he hacked at least two instructor's computers for which he blames all of his problems. Because, hey, you know, it's not his fault. Nothing's his fault. Polk State College had to spend a lot of money resetting the computers. But during, and during this period of time, obviously, they notified us that something's wrong with our computers. We worked with the technology folks for Polk State College, and this technology company is located in California. And they said, hey, we got an IP address for a guy that has access to these different accounts. Our investigation reveals that it's Brandon Diaz's address where all of this is occurring. So as we're doing our investigations, when they reset the passwords, what comes up on the instructor's screen at that time is, ha, 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 loser. So Brandon sent information in. So when they reset the password, the message he sent to him was, ha, 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 loser. Well, what I have to say to Brandon is, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. You got a jail cell for Christmas from us. So we served a search warrant. We found that there was 10 counts of hacking this computer. No personal information was revealed, but he did have access to schedules, and he did have access to grades. So while we're doing our due diligence, looking through his computer pursuant to a search warrant, voila. We filed, find child porn. Did you hear what I said? We found child porn. You can't make this up. So he's using his computer to hack computers while he's got child porn on it. Well, we just happen to be trained detectives. 
So we go get another search warrant to expand our ability to look at his computer for child porn. We find 75 counts of child porn where children as young as infants are being sexually battered. Very, very, very graphic. So we interview him. Uh, did you hack Polk State College's computers? Yes, I did. Why did you do that? Well, I just wanted to, you know, pick back at them for causing me to lose my job. So you wrote, ha, 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 loser? Yeah, I did. Well, you know, just guessing. The loser here is him. But ho, 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 you can eat some turkey on Christmas Day at the county jail. So we charge 75 counts of child porn, which is an F2, 10 counts related to him hacking the computer, which is an F3. Now, up until this moment in time, he was the assistant nurse manager at Advent Health in Haines City, according to him. We're still working with Advent Health HR, but it's interesting to me to note that he's terminated from Lakeland Regional and Advent Health hires him when he's got a problem at Lakeland Regional, when he's got a problem at Polk State College. So Brandon Diaz is like unbelievably in deep trouble and it all started with his hacking of a computer for blaming someone else for his outrageous criminal conduct. Here's the thought for you, Brandon. If you'd have just left everybody alone, at least for the time being, you'd be home for Christmas with your four children and your wife. But hey, you won't be by yourself, Brandon. For Christmas, you'll have 3,000 of your new best friends in the county jail system all along with you. Share with them how you've got five brain cells and four of them went to the North Pole to see Santa Claus and left you with one to do this outrageous stuff. We screened his children. There's no admissions, no indication that he sexually abused his children at this point in the investigation. The investigation is ongoing and certainly we anticipate after we go through the entire computer, normally we find more and there will be more charges, criminal charges if we do. If not, he'll be dealt with by Assistant State Attorney Brad Copley, who understands this type of investigation because he prosecutes a lot of cases for us, and Brad's going to make sure that upon his conviction he goes to prison for a very long time. Any questions? That's right. If he, had, if he hadn't messed up by hacking the computers, we at least at this moment in time wouldn't have known that he was accessing child porn. And he was going to the deep web, to the dark web, to get this child porn. So he was big time looking for child porn. And he was looking for a specific kind of child porn, which he found. And then we found him. I don't. But this is one more case of it's never my fault when I get arrested. It's somebody else's problem. Well, those instructors at the Center for Public Safety had nothing to do with him tested positive for drugs. Welcome to the county jail, Brandon Diaz. Ho, ho, ho for Christmas for your ha, ha, ha trick that you pulled on the instructors. Okay, anything else? Does anyone want any information on our deputy that was attacked the other night? Yeah. Yes? Who wants that? John. Sheriff, do you know about the suspect accused of stopping and head an officer and try to strangle him? Sure. 
Jordan Engel is 18 years of age. We went to a disturbance. He dated this 15-year-old girl. The father told Jordan, you get away from my daughter. And we ended up going to look for him. Well, we see him near his residence, and we try to talk to him. He breaks and runs from the deputy, stating, I'm going home to get something to kill you. Well, the detective takes that personally because this is a dangerous guy who's already been involved in a disturbance. Now he's talking about killing the cops. So the deputy finds him or catches up to him on his front porch. And as they're fighting, the deputy slips and goes down. The guy gets on top of him and is choking him. He's choking my deputy. The deputy gets out of the choke hole and is fighting with him. When backup deputies arrive, we get him handcuffed and placed into the patrol car. He's charged with attempted second-degree murder, aggravated battery, aggravated assault, and depriving our deputy of the means of communications during the fight. He's 18 years of age and is already facing some very serious charges. He's a violent guy and he's locked up in the county jail. Okay? Thank you all very much. If you all don't work next week, have a very Merry Christmas and a happy and a safe New Year. If you are, I'll see you because we'll have something to talk about. Because some people absolutely, unequivocally can't behave, and they sure don't want to behave a few days before Christmas. Okay? See you later. Mm.